life-changing weight loss tips that are 100% effective and really easy to follow and incorporate into your lifestyle. Hello guys and welcome to my channel. This is Isha and if you're in the process of leveling up and improving yourself and transforming yourself then this is the right channel for you. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up already and do subscribe if you like to. Now let's get straight into the video without me wasting your time or even mine. Point number one, replace all your alcoholic beverages with smoothies and fresh juices. I mean, you should not have any alcoholic drinks anyway, but regardless to say, you get the point. And frizzy drinks is a no-no because frizzy drinks give you frizzy hair, let's be honest. So you're not drinking frizzy drinks. Oh no, you are replacing them with fresh smoothies, even if they're not fresh. Okay, I love smoothies from Asda and Little. I'm not gonna lie, okay? It saves me time sometimes because when I'm busy, that's what I do. However, if you can afford having. Tip number two, peppermint tea. I know, I know you've always heard about green tea. Green tea is amazing. Oh yes, green tea may be very amazing. However, let me tell you something. Peppermint tea is very underrated. And I cannot emphasize enough on that how much peppermint tea has helped me on my personal journey also. Peppermint tea really gets you in shape really fast. And like, I mean, it really does tone your body. So, and by the way, we are Asian people. Okay, I mean, I am, I don't know about you. What happens with green tea sometimes, especially as summer is approaching now, it kind of gives us like, it's, it's kind of like a way of self tanning also like especially for us asians like if you're a desi hello you know what i'm saying right like we're always told yes green tea is amazing for weight loss but at the same time when you have a lot of green tea it kind of starts darkening your skin a little bit does that make sense i mean comment below if you can relate to this whenever you have green tea it starts giving you a little bit of the, like the tan and even some pimples on your face sometimes because it tends to happen a lot with people i know that so stop self tanning like that and just start having peppermint tea once a day and no, no sugar. We're going to talk about that later. Start having peppermint tea for now. Point number three, no more sugar in your coffees and teas and your hot chocolates. And no, 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 no. You have to minus the sugar. Now think about it. When you have at least two spoons sugar a day in your tea or coffee, think about it. In one week, you basically consumed 14 spoons of sugar. How bad is that? Think about it. And how many spoons is that a month? Exactly. And when I say no sugar, I also mean no packaged juices either. Point number four, my personal favorite, start eating in a sandwich plate. Now, when your plate is small, the size of your plate has to be small because when that's small, no matter how much you fill it up with food, it still says a smaller portion overall, right? When you eat in proper dinner plates, you end up eating a lot more because that plate allows you to like put in literally everything all in one plate, like lots of food in there. Yummy. Don't do that. That's a mistake. The smaller your plate, the lesser you will eat. So force yourself to do that, make that a lifestyle habit, and you will thank me later. Point number five, replace your normal potatoes with sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. If you follow me on Instagram, here by the way, make sure you do follow me. If you follow me on Instagram, you definitely know I love sweet potatoes. I eat them quite often. Now, the good thing about sweet potatoes is it might not have lesser calories, but it definitely keeps you fuller for a longer period of time. And the fun fact is one medium sized sweet potato has four grams of fiber. And that is a lot of fiber and keeps you fuller for a longer period of time. And of course, it's really good for your stomach and your gut. So cook it, fry it, or boil it, but definitely have sweet potatoes. Point number six, get enough sleep. Now for women, they call it beauty sleep for a reason. Not only is that good for your skin, but also it keeps you in shape. Did you know that? If you sleep enough, enough as in however much your body really requires. For example, my body requires for me to sleep at least seven to eight hours. I cannot do any less than that. Eight or nine is even better. I function my best when I'm well slept and well rested because if you sleep less your gut and metabolism is going to get slower not only are you going to stay exhausted and lazy all day again resulting in weight gain anyway but also it might cause bloating and swelling also a fun fact did you also know that when you sleep in cold temperatures you actually start losing body fat you start losing belly fat which is great for you because if you want to lose weight then maybe take it easy on those heating systems and maybe start sleeping in a bit of a colder temperature because it's going to be good to lose that extra fat point number seven again my personal favorite do some waist training again if you follow me on instagram which is me lady isha you have seen me always walking 
and doing waist training as I walk. I always have a waist trainer on and it does help me so much. They work best to get inches off your waist very, very quickly and I mean it. Now, a shameless plug right here, go to ishacosmetics.co.uk and you will actually see a section of waist training there and get you some waist trainers. We have like the really good luxury quality waist trainers. They help you distribute the fat that you eat by the way on other parts of your body where you want the curves to be, if that makes sense rather than saving that fat on your belly and your waist and your back area and that is also how you get to achieve that hourglass body point number eight which i've also recently started to do by the way it has changed my life the health app now if you're an android user well by the way i have just switched to an iphone <laughs> congratulations to me if you're an android user you probably definitely have the samsung health app right set a goal on it for 10k or 15k steps a day what i like to do i like to keep it 12k steps a day because it's more sustainable for me i do go for a walk quite often as i waist train as i've already mentioned but when you get that notification on your phone all the time it always acts as a reminder for you in your mind subconsciously you actually stay very alert all the time and you do end up walking a lot more and every day if you tend to finish the 12k steps set it as a goal and achieve that every day it's gonna change your life because there's no way on earth you won't be able to get in shape and lose weight if you're walking that much. Of course you will, it is a given, right? It's obvious, duh. Point number nine, replace ice creams with yogurt. Again, my personal favorite. I love Greek yogurt, especially the one from Lidl. If you haven't watched my vlogs yet, go watch my grocery vlogs because I love buying those things from Lidl and Asda all the time. Greek yogurt with coconut flavor, vanilla flavor, honey flavor, and all of those things. Not only is that healthy, but it is so much better than any dessert, than any ice cream because it has less calories. And when you have cold or frozen Greek yogurt, not only is that more fuller and richer rather than ice cream, but it also will keep you fuller for a long period of time. And if you add some frozen fruits into it, it can literally taste like dessert. I actually personally love it. I don't know about you. Even if you don't, you need to start loving these things because you are going to be incorporating these things into your lifestyle, make it a part of your lifestyle, really if you want to transform your body. Point number 10, the best one. Salads should never finish. Again, if you follow me enough on social media, you probably know I love making my salads. And I can tell you from personal experience, salads change your life. Not only the way you look on the outside, but not only for your skin and not only for your hair, but also the way you feel. Salads have a thing, okay? All those seven layer salads, you should always have them in your freezer. What I like to do personally, I like to make a big portion of salad every single week. And for a few days, it's always in the fridge and I can eat that every day. And it stays fresh for at least three to four days. And then I can always do some more and then always keep it there. This way, every time I want to snack on something, I reach out for a salad rather than anything else. So you have to have that option available all the time because if you don't have it, then of course you won't eat it, right? You're gonna reach out for other things. But if you do have it there, you're gonna see it every day and you're gonna be wanting to eat it every day just so you finish it, just so it doesn't go bad, right? Because it is going to stay fresh only for probably three, four days anyway. So your mind is always thinking, okay, let me finish that first. So the more you eat that, the better it is. The more you fill up your plates every single day with lots of salads, and then a few other things here and there, okay, fine. For the most part, you have a lot of salad in your stomach. That is what is gonna result in not only good skin and hair and all of that, because that's what I'm all about, but also it is gonna tone your body really quickly. And that is what this video is all about, right? You wanna get that right body, you need to lose weight. Then these are the small little things that you can change, make it a part of your lifestyle, and start living this way, not just for 10 days and not just for 20 days, but make it a habit and just that's how you're gonna be living from now onwards, okay? So if you're very determined, let me know down in the comments below and just write determined. If you plan to follow these rules, then write it down below. Say you're determined, okay? Just say it out loud to the universe so that you can manifest that body that you desire. Just comment below, I am determined. And see the magic happen. Because once you put it out there and declare it to the universe, it does start happening for you. Go now, write it down, I'm determined and watch the rest of our videos to stay inspired. You're welcome.